The 60-inch Carrington is an indoor-outdoor ceiling fan that is perfectly suited for large rooms and covered patios. We'll show you how to install the fan with step-by-step -step instructions. If you would like to skip ahead to a specific part of the installation, pause the video and use this menu for reference. Otherwise, continue watching for the complete installation guide. Copy the UPC number located on top of your motor assembly in case you ever need to contact customer service. If you feel that you do not have enough electrical wiring knowledge or experience, have your fan installed by a licensed electrician. Installation requires an installed ceiling outlet box that is UL listed and acceptable for fan support of up to 35 pounds. You will also need a Phillips screwdriver a step ladder, a wire stripper, electrical tape, and about one hour to install the fan. With your equipment ready and your new ceiling fan unpacked, you can now begin the installation. The tri-mount feature on this fan allows you to install it on different types of ceilings. For standard ceilings, and ceilings with a maximum slope of 18 degrees, mount the fan using the down rod. For low ceilings, Mount the fan using the alternate flush mount installation. Continue watching to learn how to mount the fan with a down rod, or skip ahead to the alternate flush mount installation section. Before getting started, turn off power at the breaker. First, Prepare the canopy assembly by twisting and removing the canopy ring. Then unscrew the two non-slotted mounting bracket screws. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. The hanger bracket can now be removed. Prepare the motor coupling by removing the clevis pin and cotter pin. Loosen the two collar set screws. On the hanger ball downrod assembly, loosen the set screw and lower the ball off the downrod. Remove the cross pin and the ground lead. Next, assemble the fan by feeding the motor's wires through the downrod and inserting it into the motor's collar. Align the holes on the downrod with the holes on the collar, then insert the clevis pin and cotter pin. Tighten the two collar set screws. Slide the coupling cover, canopy ring, and canopy onto the down rod. Then carefully reinstall the hanger ball. To attach the mounting bracket, loosen the two screws in the ceiling box and pass the supply wires through the center hole. Then slide the bracket into place over the screws and tighten them securely. Carefully bring the fan up to the ceiling and slide the hanger ball into the hanger bracket to hold it up. The tab on the mounting bracket will need to align with the groove in the hanger ball. Now you can make the electrical connections. Combine the ground wires from the ceiling box, down rod, and hanger bracket together. Then connect the white wire from the motor to the neutral wire from the box. Finally, connect the black fan wire and the blue light wire from the motor together with the hot wire from the box. If your box has two hot wires to control the fan and light separately, connect the black wire that controls the fan to one hot wire and the blue wire that controls the light to the other hot wire. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place. Then push the wires neatly into the box. Finally, assemble the canopy by sliding it up to the ceiling and twisting it into place over the two screws on the hanger bracket. Insert the removed screws and tighten all four securely. Slide the canopy ring over them and twist to lock into place. 
The fan is now properly mounted and the rest of the fan body is ready to be installed. Continue watching to learn how to mount the fan using the alternate flush mounting installation or skip ahead to the section for attaching the fan blades. Before getting started, turn off power at the breaker. First, prepare the canopy assembly by twisting and removing the canopy ring. Then unscrew the two non-slotted mounting bracket screws. Loosen the remaining two slotted screws. Remove the hanger bracket and bottom canopy cover. Now prepare the motor by removing three of the six collar screws to make a triangle pattern. Assemble the fan by placing the canopy ring on top of the motor. Align the holes on the canopy with the screws on the collar, then insert the three removed screws to secure the canopy to the motor. To attach the mounting bracket, loosen the two screws in the ceiling box and pass the supply wires through the center hole. Then slide the bracket into place over the screws and tighten them securely. Carefully bring the fan up to the ceiling and use one of the holes in the canopy to hang it from the hanger bracket's hook. Now you can make the electrical connections. Combine the ground wires from the ceiling box and hanger bracket together. Then connect the white wire from the motor to the neutral wire from the box. Finally, connect the black fan wire and the blue light wire from the motor together with the hot wire from the box. If your box has two hot wires to control the fan and light separately, connect the black wire that controls the fan to one hot wire and the blue wire that controls the light to the other hot wire. Wrap electrical tape around the connections to hold the wires in place. Then push the wires neatly into the box. Finally, assemble the canopy by unhooking the fan and pushing it up to the ceiling. Twist it into place over the two screws on the hanger bracket. Insert the removed screws and tighten all four securely. Slide the canopy ring over them and twist to lock into place. The fan is now properly mounted and the rest of the fan body is ready to be installed. The fan motor assembly is shipped with rubber packing mounts to prevent movement during transportation. Use a screwdriver to remove all packing mounts from underneath the motor assembly. Attach the blade to the blade arm by inserting the medallions under the blade and securing the arm to the top of the blade with the three blade screws. Repeat the process for the remaining blades. Install the fan blade assemblies by aligning and tightening the pre-assembled blade arm screws onto the motor. With the fan blades attached, you can now install the light kit. Remove one of the screws from the mounting ring and loosen the remaining screws. Bring the switch housing up to the fan. Align and twist the housing over the loose screws, then insert the removed screw and tighten all screws to secure it in place. Connect the 9 pin connectors. Remove one of the screws from the mounting plate and loosen the remaining two. Bring the light kit up to the fan and connect the white wire plugs and the black wire plugs. Align and twist the light kit over the loose screws, then insert the removed screw and tighten all screws to secure it in place. Install the two included LED light bulbs. Bring the glass shade up to the fan and align it under the motor. Press and turn until snug. Finally, clip on the pool chains and fobs. Power can now be restored at the breaker. The installation is complete and the fan is now ready to operate.
the pull chains provide an easy way to control your fan speeds and light. Use the shorter chain to change the fan speed. Each pull of the chain cycles through the fan's four different speed settings. High speed, medium speed, low speed, and off. Use the longer chain to turn the light on or off. Use the reverse switch to change the direction of the fan. For warm weather, the fan will spin counterclockwise and push air downward to create a cooling effect. For cool weather, the fan will spin clockwise and cycle warm air off the ceiling. Note that the fan should be stopped before changing the direction of the blade rotation. Congratulations! You are now ready to use your brand new ceiling fan. Want more details or have any questions? Just call the customer service number in your owner's manual. Thank you for watching.